flop. And flop comes ace, do seven. So Volpe's flop bottom pair. Clan is flop top pair, as you can see, but you're not going to put the guy on an ace because he didn't raise before the flop playing heads up poker. That's the beauty of the disguise of the play. And now Clan looking great, bets the aces, 500,000. And Volpe can't put him on an ace, most likely. And he's going to donate. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. The Andes are 20,000, the blind 60 and 120. Action on Paul Volpe. Great online professional player, made a lot of money this time. He's got king 10 of clubs. And he will raise, makes it 240 to go. Canadian Paul Clan goes out. And we're under the small blind here where Jesse looks down at queen jack of clubs. He's going to make the call and see a flop. Certainly is. Danny Fuse from San Diego. Tough cash game play with a nine, That's eight. It's only going to cost him a half a bet, then. It's 800,000. It's nearly 700,000 in the pot. He's getting priced in to call here. So we have three-way action going. Look at this flop. Three clubs on the flop. Two guys have flushes. Well, it's what we call a cooler flop here. Both players have flushes, and Danny's got top pair. Jesse with the queen high flush. He thinks he's in a beautiful place, but he's not. He's gonna bet. Jesse's gonna, gonna bet spell doom for somebody. 280. Danny goes Danny out. Goes Just a good lay down there by Danny Fuse, though. And there you look at it, you can't believe it. Only one hand can beat you the ace high flush. Yes, okay. You wouldn't expect a guy to lead out with that hand. Just call. calls it okie dokies. Okay, now looking at Jesse's chip stack indicator, even if he gets it all in, which it looks like he will, Jesse will not bust out since he's in better chip position than Paul. Real diamonds. On the turn. Incredible again, Jesse's gonna bet 320. Well, that's a small bet into a $1.3 million pot, but obviously he doesn't think he wants his opponent to go anywhere, and I can assure you he's not. Cool. He's going all in and a snap call by Jesse. Jesse, the local, completely disappointed. Puts the chips into the Volpe fly trap, and he cannot believe it. It's just a cooler hand, flush over flush. Paul Volpe going to double up here and get himself back into good contention to win this title. And the crowd is stunned. The crowd is for Jesse. He's the local, and they realize what a horrible beat he just had. Last card, just doesn't matter. Queen of Spades on the river, irrelevant. Paul Volpe, the online champ, is gonna take down a huge putt. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you see WPT champion Matt Waxman. He's rooting for his buddy, Paul Volpe. The guy who came to this final table as our chip leader is in serious contention to take this title once again. Oh, man, how disappointing. You flop a queen high flush and that happens to you. Jesse knows there's nothing he can do about that. Just a cooler flop, but he's still alive. There's the Royal Flush Girls social bar. And if you're a Club WPT VIP member, you receive preferred seating. You can come out here, meet us, Kimberly, Tony Dunst, all of us are the Royal Flush Girls, so I'll try to make that. But back to this hand we go. All right, back on Volpe. King Jack of Spades this time. Pretty nice hand. He's gonna pop it, 240 to go. Going to raise it right up front for 240000 Plan goes out. And look at this. Jesse has done it. He's picked up the aces. Uh, what a dream for him. Just took a brutal beat a moment ago. Flopping flush versus flush. And now going all in here with two aces. I'm, I'm a little surprised he's bet this big, Vince. And he gets out of the way. The bet was 240. He's got nearly $1.9 million. He moves all in for that much money. Well, sometimes those giant raises seem weaker. Yes, I think Paul can get away from this hand. I mean, he's got to put in about half his stack here. Oh, boy, he has made the call. Wow. Jesse's going to get the action he wanted with the aces. A very daring all-in bet right there with his stack size, in my opinion, for another $1.7 but 
Let's see if Paul Volpe can get lucky here. Obviously not the hand that he wanted to look at it was two aces. He was hoping to see like two eights or two nines, but even then you got to win a race. Crowd on its feet. Just amazing. Here comes the flop. Wow. Whoa! What a flop for Paul Volpe. He's flopped a flush draw and a straight draw. About as good as you could ever hope for when you're up against two aces. Wow. The crowd stunned by that flop. Jesse's still out in front with the two aces, but right now, he can't swallow a BB. Oh, boy. Unbelievable, he's saying. How could a guy get a flop like this? Let's go with a turn. Spade or a queen. Well, four diamonds comes off. Jesse, Yagi Numa must catch anything that's not a spade or a queen to double up here. Oh, Paul Volpe would love to knock out Jesse right now. Can he do it? Can he catch the magic card? Here we go. And that's a king. Two kings are not going to do it. Jesse, Yagi Numa is going to double up here. We've still got four players left. Back to this hand to go. Yeah, yeah. A quick fall by Paul Clan. Jesse, Jesse out as well. So down to the battle of the blinds here. Hold on. Well, Danny Fuse now going to set it all in with an wow. ace-7. And a quick call by Paul. Volpe with ace-queen of clubs. Lance, that was essentially a $3.5 million all-in bet there by Danny Fuse. A snap call by Paul Volpe. So this a massive pot of nearly $7 million. Now, Danny has a few more chips than Paul, but not many. Boy, Danny just overbet that. Wow. What happened? I could have just raised 850 like I was supposed to. Instead, it all went in there. A seven right on the flop. 10, 9, 7. Danny Fuse is out in front. Could this be deja vu? He had ace 9 against ace 10. When Toby Lewis went all in, he won that pot. Could he do it again? Ten lightning strike twice. Ten of clubs pairs the board, but four clubs now here for Paul Volpe. Uh, as you can see, Paul Volpe perking up when he sees that card. He knows he'll split the pot. If a nine comes up, he'll win with a queen or a club. So a lot of outs now for Paul Volpe. Uh, Paul Volpe will go out of this event if he doesn't hit a club. Oh, he hits a club! He hits the club! And that is going to destroy Danny Fuse's stack. You talk about a dagger in the heart for Danny Fuse. There it was. He outflopped him and then so. watched his opponent hit club club to make a flush to virtually destroy his stack of chips. Oh, yes, it is. Now, he won't go home broke yet. He's on a severe short stack. Danny Fuse in trouble right now. We'll come back for more on the World Poker Tour. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Danny Fuse on the extreme short stack. He's going to go all in with a queen nine right now. Let's take a look at Volpe's cards. Oh. Pretty solid King Jack. He's definitely playing the hand. It's just a matter if he's going to raise it and shut out the big blind or not. Mm -hmm. Where the most he can lose in this pot is 500,000. That's exactly what it looks like he's doing. He's coming over the top. Yep, makes it 900,000 to go. Clan goes away. Now many players would call there and let the big blind call and just check it down. Hope one of you can beat him, but not Paul Volpe. He re-raises in that spot. He's out in front with the king high. Danny Fuse must win this pot to stay alive. Let's see if he can do it. Danny Fuse from San Diego, tough cash game player. Longtime veteran in poker with a big run here tonight. Can he get lucky on this flop? Not there. It's a 7 6 4. Uh, Danny does have the queen of clubs, meaning Club Club will win it for him. But he knows he's in dire straits to stay alive in this tournament and probably thinking about what might have been, Vince. Ace of hearts on the turn. No help for Danny. Danny Fuse must catch a queen or a nine. Otherwise, he's going to be our fourth place finisher. Oh, yeah. The fuse is getting shorter and shorter. Down to one last card, perhaps. 
Yeah, the board pair of sevens. Well, that's going to do it for Danny Fuse. Tough luck for the high stakes cash game player. Had a big chip lead. Uh, where do I go, senor? <laughs> it could have been a big chip leader with three players left. Didn't happen. Turns out, goes out in fourth place. He's a strong player. He played real well. Had a, a bit of bad luck tonight. Danny Fuse out in fourth place. Going to take home 316,000. He's over to talk to Matt Savage. Danny, you were short stacked a lot of this tournament, then you had the chip lead tonight at the final table. How tough is it to finish fourth? Uh, well, obviously you don't like it, but I mean, I just, I think it was kind of out of my control. I uh, had a key hand after I got the chip lead. I raised with the uh, two kings and uh, the guys, like men, re-raised me on the button. I knew I had them kind of right where I wanted them. And you can't control what card comes off on the turn, unfortunately. So uh, that was kind of the hand that, that started like a little downward spiral and uh, I never really recovered, so. Well, you showed a lot of class and confidence throughout this whole tournament. I'm sure we're going to see more on the circuit. Congratulations on your finish. Thank you very see much. See you again. Back to you. He's going to muck his 9-4. Jesse takes a peek at a Jack-9. And he is going to shove with Jack-9. Paul Volpe cannot play with the 10-8. He folds the hand. Uh, Jesse picking up a small pot there. Blinds and Annie's. Happy to get it. Sometimes he's got to bet with nothing. That's what Jesse did. Nicely done. Picks up that pot. All right, action on Volpe. Now he's got a nice ace 10. Now well, going to raise on the button to 400,000. Paul Clan out. Jesse with a queen jack. All in. He's thinking about it. He's done it. He's wow. going all in. And a going snap call, in. of course, by Paul Volpe. Doesn't just call to see the flop. Just goes all in, pre-flop and a snap call by Paul with the ace 10. And what a good call it is. He is out in front. Got a chance to eliminate Jesse and play heads up for the title. Let's get it, buddy. Now Paul Volpe in great shape. Thank take you. a commanding chip lead. Going into heads up battle if his ace 10 will hold up here. Oh, let's take a peek, Mike. Comes nine, eight, four. Just give him a good shot straight draw, but right now Jesse's looking for a queen, jack, or a 10. Nothing else will do for him. Jesse looking stunned. Must have a queen, jack, or a 10 to stay alive. Yes! Yeah, it's a seven. Now a jack won't do it for him. He must catch a queen or a 10. That's all. So Jesse in dire straits right now with one card to go. All right, River card all comes out of this for Jesse. It's a three. So there you go. Paul Volpe getting on a rush at the right time here, Vince. Quickly eliminates two players in succession, and he's playing heads up for the title. Well, Jesse played impeccable poker all night long. Very solid young guy. He'll, he'll take home 429,000 to brag about. Big effort here in LA. And right now, he's going to talk to Matt Savage. Jesse, $429,000 is going to go nice into that cash game bankroll. I know you play a lot of cash games here, but you've played some tournaments recently and made some deep runs. How do you feel about your tournament game? Uh, I feel pretty good right now. I uh, feel like I'm playing with confidence. I'm uh, making some good reads. And um, this was a great tournament. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I enjoyed myself. What's it like to have this kind of support behind you? You got a lot of great pros behind you. Uh, it's great. I, <laughs> I couldn't ask for better friends and family, and uh, put out a great showing today, and I, uh, I really appreciate it. Well, it's been a lot of fun to watch. Congratulations. Thank you, Mo. Back to you. Observation there, Mike, and Paul Volpe now. <laughs> peeks down a jack six. Is going to raise to 400,000. And Paul Clan with a jack four. We'll call it. Yeah, I'm just saying, you're not going to push me around just by raising every time. Well, yeah. both players have flopped a pair of jacks, the top pair. Wow. Paul Clan has checked, and Volpe going to make the continuation bit with the jacks, 450,000. He certainly is. Now, Clan with top pair, the worst kicker, though. I'm all in. Wow, he's going to push all in. Wow. What a play here by Paul Klan, and I'll tell you. How much? This makes it a big decision for Paul Volpe here. It's a five and a half million dollar raise. Now you're sitting in Volpe's seat. 
You've got the chip lead. You feel like you're the better player. Do you really want to gamble nearly five and a half million on this call? It is tough, folks. We know he's got top pair. Got him out kicked and out. Figures to be a split pot if he does call, but I'm telling you, it's tough to make in this spot. Volpe knows the guy would easily make this play with maybe a 10-9 in his hand. Maybe a king nine even. A tough decision for Volpe here as to what to do. Now if he had a king nine or something like that, he most likely would have raised though. So you just don't know. Look at this, Volpe is gonna lay it down. I gotta take a look at a wonder cam and see if something crazy would have happened. Would this tournament have been over? Well, it's a queen of hearts and a deuce of diamonds, so they would have split the pot. Well, that would give Volpe his 900,000 back, but as it is, Credit clan to making a good all-in bet right yeah. there to win that pot. That is a strong move. Well done by Paul Clan. Now this time he's got a nine-four of hearts. Now the jack four worked out for him last time. Why not the nine-four? He is going to raise it. Four hundred thousand to go. Doesn't play like an amateur. He plays real solid, strong. Paul Volpe with the queen set of hearts is going to call it. And we are a flopping. Flop comes king five three two spades. Hope he's going to check. Now, Clan going to make the continuation bet here with just the junk. 400,000, but look at this. This is what we call the flute call. Got no hand and no draw, but just calling to try to take the pot away from the guy later. Now a 10 of hearts comes up, so now he's made a flush draw on the turn, as have both players. Volpe out in front with the queen high. Yeah, Volpe checks. Paul Clan also going to check. Let's see if Volpe hits the flush. No, a nine. And that's going to hit Paul Clan for a pair of nines. Oh, Volpe. Hoping his opponent's got a pair of three or fives and might throw the hand away if he bets. So he's firing out 850,000 here. Certainly is. Paul Clan now considering this. He makes a solid call with the nines. Now yeah, what a call by Clan. He's going to win Queen this high. pot. Queen high. He turns up the pair of nines, and Volpe's just taking a big gulp right there. Say, Why do I have to even know that word float? You gotta say queen high. You don't want to show the hand. It's well, embarrassing. It's the awful. Three, that's the three words you're thinking about right now is river suck out, because that's what his opponent did to him there. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, Mike, the blinds are going up to 125, 250. We got a $25,000 Annie. We've also got a new chip leader in this heads up battle. Paul Klan out in front. 8.5 million to Volpe, 7 million. So the tide has turned. Volpe with an ace deuce has raised it to 500,000. But look at this, Paul Clan with ace six of clubs. I'm all in. Wow. Nothing but big bet poker for this guy now. Vince, give Clan credit. He understands this guy might outplay him if he keeps the pot small. He's trying to make him big and end this thing right here, right now. And right now, Paul Volpe is doing somersaults as this guy continues to move in on him and take pots away from him. Pretty impressive by the Canadian who's an owner of a disaster restoration company in Canada. He can play with the big boys. He's showing that here tonight, Paul Clan, this time with Ace Queen. He's limping in on the button here. Doesn't raise with the Ace Queen here. It's going to disguise a strong hand. Volpe just happy to see a free flop with the three deuce. Yeah. And here comes the flop. The flop comes ace, deuce, seven. So Volpe's flop bottom pair. Clan has flop top pair, as you can see, but you're not going to put the guy on an ace because he didn't raise before the flop playing heads up poker. That's the beauty of the disguise of the play. And now Clan looking great, bets the aces, 500,000. And Volpe can't put him on an ace, most likely. And he's going to donate. You don't put him on a pair either because he'd uh -oh. raise And now a deuce comes oh, no. off. A dream card for Volpe here. Hitting three of a kind. Just the what the doctor ordered for him. He's got a great chance to win a big pot here, Vince. Oh, he's going to check. He's going to try to trap. Dug the hole. Put the branches, the twigs over it. Wait for the sucker to fall in. That's Mr. Clan. you got to bet if you're him. Of course. Your opponent could have a 4-5 or five and be drawn to a straight. Even maybe have a diamond draw. Well, the bet's 800,000. Oh, boy. Here comes the fly trap. 
Yep, all in and a quick call. Well, all in and called. And look, Clam was getting up to raise his arms in victory. Now he's sitting back down, realizes he's got to catch an ace to win this pot. Otherwise, Paul Volpe is going to have a five to one chip lead in this heads up battle. Incredible turnaround right here. Certainly is. Are the Ducks quacking? Let's see. Yes, they are. Six comes off on the river. A huge double up by Volpe right there, and he now takes a commanding chip lead in this heads up battle. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Oh, Volpe now out in front with close to 13 million. This time he's got a 9-10. He's getting raisin chips. Mm, oh, look at this. Yeah, he's gonna push all in. He's setting the man all oh. in. I'm not crazy about this play. Well, Clan has a big hand and a quick call. I say I'm not crazy about it because had he just bet 500,000, his opponent's either going to go all in or fold the hand. So you learn the same thing by betting 20% as much as you did. Well, all Volpe has to do is hit a 9 or a 10. And he'd be very happy. He'd probably be out in front. So we will see. I still have to double up one more time. All Clan and a big chance to double up. Well, he's about a 2 to 1 favorite to do so. Clan talking to his wife on the sidelines. Volpe knows he needs to get lucky in this hand to win. The flop, it's a 4-4-3, four, four, like two hearts, that's good for Clan. Like that. He's nodding his head with happiness over that flop, that's for sure. Volpe trying to hide there, oh. saying I need to get lucky here. He's going to catch a 10 or a 9, it's not a heart. It's the king of clubs. Now you see a couple yeah, of real good live. players, Christian Harder and Aaron Elias, sweating Volpe on. Volpe would love to catch a miracle and knock out Paul Clan at this moment. And it's a seven. Well, Vince, some people might wonder about that all-in bet with a 10 high right there by Volpe. He just took a five to one chip lead in the heads up battle. Turns out his opponent picked up a big hand. Won it, doubled up, and they're right back where they started this heads up battle. Where Volpe's got about a three to two chip lead. Volpe out in front right now. Nine million to about 6.4 million for Clan. Let's get back to the action. Volpe now with a king five. Vince is just limping in on the button with his hand. He's trying to keep the pot small before the flop. Hasn't worked that way for him so far, so he's not even making the men raise anymore, just calling. But look at this. Clan now raising. Out of position with the seven five. Yes, he makes it 500,000 to go. And Volpe will make the call. So here we go. Now flop is queen, jack, three. No help to either player. Well, Clan is now going to check after raising before the flop. A little puzzled by that play, but Volpe just happy to get another card off of there. Well, three of diamonds comes off. Well, that gives a four flush to Paul Clan. That can wake up his betting mode. Yes. Gonna stick in a half a million. And Volpe with nothing here, just King High has made this well, call. Vince, he feels like King High might be the best hand, and it is the best hand. And now a four comes off. No one gets there. Well, will the amateur have the heart to fire again? He knows that's the only way he can win the pot, but he just got called on the turn when he bet. But look at this fence, give the guy credit. He is gonna fire on the river here with absolutely nothing. Incredible, playing zip and pip perfectly. He's gonna stick in a better 700,000. Now this would be the call of the decade. Well, if Volpe could figure this out. Look, he called him on the turn with King High. The guy didn't bet on the flop. Would he really bet with an ace high on the river? Wouldn't he just check it down? Well, so you don't put him on that, on but obviously, Volpe thought he must have had something when he bet twice in a row. So he folded, but give Paul Clan credit there for firing on the turning river there to win that pot. 
The Andes are now going up to 50,000 points. 150 and three. Paul Clan looks down at a King 10 off suit. And he will raise, goes to 600,000. Volpe, let's take a look at his hand. It's a Jack Nine of Hearts. Oh, Volpe with the chip all in. Man. Whoa, he says all, all in. All in. Incredible. Thought he was trying to play small pots. Whoa. Oh, and he's been called. What a call by Paul Klan here with just a King 10 offsuit. Boy, the Canadian must have had a feeling it's the best call of the night. King high. That's incredible, man. I mean, I to do? That's Six good. million dollars more the guy called with a King 10 offsuit there exactly. for his tournament life. Didn't take any time doing it. He just put Volpe on. Not much of a hand. And right now, Clans King 10 out in front. Here comes the flop. Do three, four. So far, the king high is good. Volpe can backdoor, hard flush. Otherwise, he needs to catch a jack or a nine to win the pot. Wow, Paul Clan from Canada in great shape right now with two cards to come. So threes with the four, and the turn will be a queen of hearts. Always Four hearts on the board now. Volpe needs a heart, a jack, or a nine to take this title. Takes the title. It's a major one. Volpe with a big chance right here. It's all coming out of this right now. Well, he backed over to Flush to knock Danny Fuse out of this tournament. Can he do it again to win the title? Can Volpe pop his heart? Let's take a look. Wow, six of oh, diamonds. Oh, Paul Clan, he's going to take this pot. He's absolutely crushed Volpe. Well, just incredible. There you see him over celebrating. His wife, his brother, his dad, they're all in the house. Whoa. Rooting Paul Clan on. And they don't have much more to root for, Vince. That guy is on the verge of taking this yeah, time. He is on the morphine drip right now, Paul Volpe. Stunned. He was one card away from a victory, and now just a couple hundred thousand away from a loss, being the runner up here. Well, Vance, well done by Paul. That was a heck of a call he made with the King 10 off suit there for all his dough. But he was right about it and won the pot, and here we go. Look at this. Paul Volpe on his hand has shoved it all in with a 10 high. Call. And Paul Clan is going to make the call with Queen high. Paul Volpe going all in here with a 10 9 off suit again. That was part of his downfall. When he got the big chip late, he moved all in with a 10 9 off suit for two and a half million. His opponent called him. When he had the ace jack of hearts, here he's called him with queen five of hearts. He's got the best hand again. Paul Klan could win this title right here, right now, if the queen high holds up. I think you're real. <laughs> here comes the flop. Queen high out in front for Klan, and the flop is a jack eight four. That's good sweat. Open ended straight draw for Paul Volpe. The queen high is the best hand. But Volpe, he's got a lot of cards to catch to win this pot. A seven, nine, ten, or queen. Volpe has a lot of hope here. Here we go, fourth street. Deuce of hearts. Well, that takes a lot of the outs away from Volpe here. Volpe must catch a seven, nine, ten, or queen. That's not a heart. Mike, you think about it, all the great pros in this tournament out. And right now, we have an amateur Canadian about to take the LAPC title. One card away. He's got a big chance right now. Let's see if he can do it. He's, He's done it! A, an ace comes Holy off on smoke. the river. And Paul Clan will take this title down. Folks, this is not as big as a miracle on ice, but I'll tell you, in the poker world, this is a pretty good win for an amateur player. Tremendous. He played great. Well, Paul Volpe is going to take home 651000 He's the runner-up. He's disappointed, and he's talking to Max Savage. Paul, he seemed to have control of the table for much of the night. What happened there at the end? Uh, he played really tough heads up, uh, lost a couple all-ins, and couldn't finish. I had him short, just couldn't finish. Still a lot of money. Uh, it's a nice finish here at the LAPC. Are you happy with that finish? Uh, it's bittersweet. If you told me before the tournament started I would get second, obviously I'd be super excited. But once you're here, it's it's hard to get here, so you want to win. But I'll have another shot. Yeah, we'll definitely have another shot. Mike, over to you. One more WPT title goes back to Canada. Congratulations to Paul Clan, our champion. Kimberly, back to you.